Talking to Charlton manager Russell Slade ahead of Saturday's season open at Bury. Russell, you're two months into the job. What are your early impressions of Charlton? I think it's uh, it's it's a super club. Um, did an article just recently. I think it has a real heartbeat. Um, see so many players around, so many young players, and um, it, it's a great club. And we we have got so many things right here under 21 down. Um, and it's uh, it's an exciting place for young players to come here. There's a real pathway. There's a real opportunity to thrive and flourish at a club like Charlton. So from that point of view, really pleased. We're, 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 we're not, where we've not been so clever clearly over recent years is, is, is getting, getting things right at first team level, uh, in particular the recruitment side of things. Um, we're trying to address that. We're trying to um, get a team that had some stability. People don't like to hear that word, I know that, but that's what we require right now before we can move forward. Mm -hmm. It is, is it a bigger job than you first anticipated? Yeah, when you when you when you weigh things, it it it, it possibly is. I, I I've got to, I can't deny that. But um, look look, I'm I'm enjoy, I'm I'm really enjoying attempting to rebuild this football club. It's a, it's it's become a real project for me. I'm you know I'm working tirelessly to. To, to to make it happen, ensure that we get the right fit, ensure that off the field we, we, we're giving the players every opportunity um, to perform and be the best version of themselves when they come in every day by taking away any excuses. Before your arrival, Charlton had six managers in five seasons. Did that statistic make you think twice before accepting the job? <laughs> yeah, good question. Um, no, not really, not really. Um, you, you, you know, you've got to you've got to believe in your own ability. I think that's number one, and and what you're about, and what you're gonna try and do. Um, I, I think I pretty much prove that everywhere I go. I, I, I all the clubs I've been at, I think that I've left them in a much better situation than I found them. You started turning things around with five key signings. How long do you think it will take to get the side playing the way you want? Quite simply, I need another four. That's without doubt. Um, so un until we get those in, and they have to be the right fit, so I'm not going to panic. I'm, if we have to use the whole of the window, we will. Um, because I'm not just going to bring players in for the sake of bringing players in. They have to be the right type, the right type of character, the right type of quality um, that are going to fit in um, to Charlton. Want to wear the shirt is massive for me. If, if, if they listen, if they don't want to be in, they want to, and they want to move on. Um, and, and look, the, the players move on for different reasons. One because it, they can play at a higher level, but sometimes it's it's because you know they they, they no longer want to put their body on the line for the football club that are paying them, and I find that frustrating. And I don't want people around the building that are like that. Are you close on any uh, of those deals you've just mentioned? Yes. Yeah, we've got one in the building for a medical today, so we're delighted can you about say that. that is? No, I can't tell you anything. <laughs> Um, but uh, yeah, and, and we're two thirds of the way down the road with, with another one. Um, w w I would be hopeful that we could get in for the weekend, but we, we, you know, time is running out. I'm, I'm aware of that as well. Um, but 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 look, uh, they will be coming in the building. That's the important thing, and we've got our targets. We've been very patient in getting what I thought was a quality goalkeeper. We've been very patient with the player that's coming in today. Um, to make it happen, and and we, we've been the same with our others. We, we've not. We, there's been no scattergun approach. It's been we've targeted the ones we truly want at the football club that we think can play a part. That can we think and believe they can take us forward. Now you're at Bury on Saturday. Do you think the start of the season has just come a little bit too early in your restructuring plans? Either that or I arrived a little bit too late. <laughs> Whatever way you look at it, we could have done with more time, but it, it is what it is. Um, they're the cards we've been dealt, so we'll deal, we'll deal with that. The, the, the group that we've got anyway, of, of, oh, from day one, from day one to now, it's, it, it's a different, honestly, it's a different training group. They're beginning to value the basics, they're beginning to you know, uh, move the ball better in training. 
Um, look, is there, look, there's loads of room for us to still get better in many, many, many aspects. But the, we, we've got a group now that, that are trying. We've got a group now that I believe that will roll the sleeves up um, and will give them the best. I think you said that too when you first arrived, the training, as soon as you finished training, the players shot off to their cars and shot out of the car park. Yeah, certain. Not since I've been been here, but but I think I do I do believe that's how it was. And you know, I'm, you know, if you if you to believe any of the stories, you you can see that. Um, and, and and certainly over the six weeks, it, it it's been a place where players have been wanting to be around each other and enjoying each other's company, enjoying each other's company in uh, where, where we where we dine, which is a much more desirable place now. And and we've made improvements, the changing room, we've made improvements there. Um, we've made improvements in terms of the discipline and the ownership that the players are taking for the punishments that go forward. So, um, look, it, it, it's a better club. Um, the, all the little bits that we're missing, we're trying, to, we're trying to put together and piece together. It will take time. It's, it's not a quick process. It's not done in a day, but... Um, I would like it done in a day because I tend to get impatient but and frustrated. But um, even I have to be show a little bit of patience as we move towards a better football club. Team news for Sati, you got any injuries? No, um, the, the, our, our only real concern will, will be Lee Novak, who will go today to see the specialist to see how that hand is. Um, and fingers crossed we'll have um, the cast put on it uh, that, that allows him to play. So you're reasonably confident he could make his debut on Saturday? Yes, yes I am, yeah. Russell Slade, thank you very much. Pleasure. Uh, Russell, just in, uh, in terms of a few other players who seem to have uh, Neil Nichols, uh, you know, how far are they away from someone like Bauer? Is he perhaps uh, a couple of weeks away? Ba Bauer's in with training now. He's, he's training with the main group, uh, which is pleasing, but obviously there's been no... There's been no um, pitch time for him. Um, we have a, we have a couple of friendlies next week. I think we have Wimbledon and and um, we, we will maybe throw in Patrick in one of these that are coming up in next week. So we'll see how he goes. But he's integrated. He's training with us, which is all a really good sign, you know, going forward. In terms of uh, Alu Diara, he went yes. injured at Wellington. You said six weeks. So I think that would be from now. No, no, no. His injury wasn't at Wellington. Was it, oh, okay, it was it's an historical there. injury. Yeah, yeah. So okay, it kind of, it yeah, up there. Um, yeah. It did, it did flare up there. He, he, I think he was, out, he, he was feeling it slightly in training anyway. So clearly, um, there was something wrong with, it and and an X-ray revealed that it was there was still um, a break in the bottom of his foot. Um, so that's now cost him another three or four months because it's not really been dealt with adequately. So he's going to be off for a, a couple of more months then? Yeah, 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 three months probably. Uh, Harry Lennon's number 10. Two to three months. We haven't seen in yeah, the yeah. season. Is he, yeah. is he only Another three? historical injury yeah. that's not been dealt with. We talk about the little things, I mean, they become big things, don't they? But yeah, I mean, now um, Harry is making progress. Um, probably looking at three weeks for him before he's integrated with the group. You talk about those kind of historical injuries. Uh, for any coming manager, that was just me kind of infuriating when you... Oh, yes, it's just a nightmare. I mean, as I said, you know, when the last ball was kicked at the end of May, I think that was it. Yeah. There's, there's been no aftercare. There was no date set for training and players to come back. And the off-season programme was, was something to be... It's just like, see, it was just um, ridiculous. Did that surprise you? I mean, that it was it was that kind. Well, it of... did, yeah, 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 because um, you know it, you're professional in what you do, and you expect things to be left in a professional way. In terms of uh, Chris Sibelos, I mean, he's gone off uh, for a, a little loan deal. Yeah. Uh, was he not really in your plans this year? I, mean, he's, he's I, talent, I, so. I, yeah, no, Chris has got Chris has got technical ability. There's not there's no doubt about that. Whether is he is he, is he suited to the championship and. And, and League One, P probably not, probably not, and you know may maybe a Portugal or Belgium that type that type of environment will suit him better. Mm. There's been quite a lot of speculation over uh, George Tashira. Uh, I mean, he, he's had a little injury, isn't he? Uh, is there anything kind of imminent with him? I mean, there's been quite a lot of speculation over. Um, not, not that I'm aware of, 
uh, as we're speaking today, no. But I'm, I'm, I'm sure, as, as you know, we've we, we've lost a few players from the group that played last season. Um, uh, Texera could be another one that would interest people. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Roger Johnson's played every preseason game. I think. Uh, I think he's might start every game. He seems to be. Uh, someone that you, you you like. What kind of role can he play? Well, yeah, Roger, 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 so as a bit of a leader and a bit of a. Well, well let, 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 let's get one thing right. I mean, we, we have um, we have a problem in that. I had a problem in that we didn't have too many centre offs yeah. available. Um, to be fair to Roger, he's not Mr. Day's training. Um, he's played a lot of minutes. Um, worked exceptionally hard on the training ground to get himself in a position. Um, to be considered, um, and that's what he's done. And um, and fair play also to Conser, who's 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 stepped up and and done the same. And that's what you want, isn't it, from your football club? You want people, players stepping up and 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 filling almost a void, for want of a word, really. You know, where there's an opportunity or an opportunity anyway to fill a slot. Do you think those two, Conser uh, Johnson, are going to be your on Saturday on the, on the starting lineup, or is it too early to say? Do you want me to tell David Flickloff right there? No, I'm not telling him anything. OK. A lot of fans have got a lot of hopes for uh, Callum Harriet this year. I mean, he, he came back to the club after his loan spell last season, really impressed, really lively. Yeah. Uh, this could be a really big season for him. Or... Yeah, no, it, it, it could be, albeit there's the speculation around Callum. If you're talking about speculation, there is speculation around Callum. Um, but again, an, uh, he's another one. To be fair, that um, his role, his role, he sleeves up, and um, you know he's had a good preseason. Ow.